All right, ad adjusting the rear drum brake is a pretty simple process. Um, basically, you have this lever here and the brake lever up front, which let me move that here. When this is depressed down, okay, this whole linkage here, which you can see, there it is behind there moving, goes all the way down here and it pulls on this lever. So the way to adjust the rear brake is pretty simple. What I like to shoot for, and this goes with personal preference, but there are some general guidelines, is I don't like to push down very far before the rear brake is activated. So right now, see there's a ton of travel in that pedal right now. Okay, what I generally try and shoot for is like a, a hair down, like almost that. Something like that is ideal for me. I don't like to have to push very far to actually get some brake action going. And the way to do that on this bike is there are two different ways. If your brake alignment is way out of whack or you have no idea where it is, you can actually take this entire lever arm off here and you can adjust it. So you could change the starting angle. So you could pivot it. It goes on a spline here. Sorry, I don't want to block that. And you could take it off the spline and change the angle of the spline if you can't get the adjustment you're looking for uh, through the means that I'm explaining here. So if your alignment's just way out of whack or, or it just doesn't seem to be working, it could be that you need to take this entire arm off here and just start it at a, a different angle to begin with uh, to get the pedal travel you're looking for. So really what you do is you basically you spin your rear wheel and um, what you're looking for is the point at which you, you push on the brake pedal with like one of your hands and you want to stop the wheel from spinning. All right, sounds pretty easy, right? Okay, so right now it's really loose and the way to tighten it up is to simply turn this nut clockwise. So you just take your, this is a 12 millimeter and you just tighten the thing up. And basically you just go nuts here and you tighten this up and you get to the point where you get the, the pedal travel you're looking for. So you tighten it up a whole bunch of turns and then you grab your pedal and you see I can't push it down nearly as far. Right? You want to test this so you'll spin the wheel then you'll turn the lever by hand and you'll stop it with your hand. And what you want is you don't want this thing so tight that it's now dragging all the time, okay, keeping the wheel from spinning. You want it so that just when you push down a little bit on that brake pedal it stops the wheel. So that's basically the strategy. It's pretty easy. So you either tighten or loosen this. And if you still can't get the range you're looking for, you can take the entire lever off this assembly and you can rotate it on the spline and you could start it. Um, but if it was already working before, you probably don't need to do this. It really just has to do with if you completely disassemble the bike or something like that, you may need to do this to get it back on track. So that's a pretty simple mechanism, uh, pretty easy to adjust. And that's the basic strategy. Uh, one final point of adjustment I nearly forgot was right here. You see this bolt right here, all right? When I push on the brake lever, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It comes off the back of this bolt, and this will control the return height. So if you want this lever to stay down further and, and not shoot up so far, like the original owner had this thing returning so high that it was literally hitting the side of the case. See that uh, mark right there in the case? That's because he had that bolt turned so far out that when you return the lever, it would actually go so high up, it was actually hitting the case. So that will be controlled here. And this will control the level that the pedal returns to. All right, so if you adjust down here, um, down there, you're primarily gonna be returning, uh, adjusting rather, the height at which the pedal goes down before it contacts the, the brake shoes, contact the drum. And here, you'll sort of be controlling the return height.